Hi kindergartners and welcome back from a long weekend. I actually got some new books in the mail over the weekend so I'm excited to read them to you this week. The first book we're going to start off with this week is called Elmore and it's about this little por porcupine. He's lonely and trying to make some friends. And this story is written by Holly Hobby. Elmore lived by himself in an ancient maple tree. He loved it there. Every few days he would climb down the huge tree trunk as darkness fell to graze on his favorite leaves and twigs. Then back he would go to his snug hollow in the ancient tree. Elmore was solitary. He lived alone, and you would think he'd be used to that by now. But here's the thing. He often felt lonely. Solitude could be boring. He'd always had trouble making friends. What was the problem? After all, the L in Elmore's name, his mother once explained, stood for love. He put up a sign, Friends Wanted. He was discouraged by what he overheard. He's too prickly. It's hard to be around him. Elmore shook his back and his quills rattled. It was true. If you got too close, you might get needled, nettled, prickled. Elmore didn't mean it. It just happened. He spent a rainy day, holed up in the ancient, ancient tree, thinking about what to do. What could be done about his troublesome quills? They were there to protect him like a coat of armor. But protect him from what? Elmore's life was peaceful. He was lucky. The next day, his old uncle happened to come shuffling along past Elmore's tree. Good morning, Elmore. A moment later, he said, you don't seem your usual cheerful self. Is something wrong? I wish I didn't have all these quills. Elmore explained. I'm too hard to be around. I have no friends. I'm your friend, his uncle smiled. That's different, Elmore replied. But you are a porcupine, his uncle stated empathetically. You wouldn't be a porcupine without quills. I know, said Elmore. I've got hundreds and thousands of them. You're a handsome porcupine, his uncle added. Your quills are beautiful. You should treasure them. His uncle's kind words made Elmore feel better. Then, as he looked at the many quills scattered about his quote, cozy dwelling, he had an idea. Elmore tied up each small cluster of quills with a bit of string. Do you have any ideas about what he might be doing? He posted another sign. Elmore quill pens, 100% real porcupine quills, free. For two days, they went like hotcakes. Everyone could enjoy a quill pen, especially if it was made from 100% real porcupine quills and free, too. They could make ink from berries, Elmore suggested, which was extra fun. Everyone loves getting a note from a friend, he said, as he handed out the bundles. So they're using his quills kind of like pens. 
They dip it in the ink made from berries and, and then they can write notes to each other. By the time the last quill pens were gone, Elmore was tuckered out, but most of all, he was happy. In the days that followed, he received all kinds of notes. It was exciting. We love our quill pens. That's what one note said. This is a picture of us. Let's be pen pals. One bright morning after the quill event, there was a big sign tacked to the trunk of Elmore's tree. You are a beautiful porcupine. Our woods are lucky to have you from your friends. So they used what Elmore made for them, those pens, to write him a really nice note. Isn't that kind? So we made friends in a different way. All right, kindergartners, I hope you have a great Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.